Hello, I'm the Zombie J. Wasn't expecting to make a video today. Yeah, please don't mind the haircut. Yes. Um. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not bald. There's still hair. It's just. Yeah. It's not what this video is about, but whatever. So, I'm back from the funeral, obviously, and, um, well. Still sad, still dead inside. Yeah. But, my day got better. I am feeling a little bit better after I heard this news. So, let's discuss this, shall we? So, Lego Bionicle is coming back. Well, kind of. In a way, it's coming back, much like it tried to with the, uh, what's it called? The, um... 90th anniversary classic set uh, from earlier this year. That thing was fifty dollars, and I still don't. I still didn't get a copy. I'm probably it's probably being saved for Christmas. <sighs> I'll let you all know. <laughs> um, but this is incredibly refreshing and awesome news. Uh, Bionicle, we're getting a. Tahu, another brick built Tahu, not the little chunky, freaking weird, googly eyed abomination <laughs> uh, that was um, from the, 50, the 90th anniversary classic thing where it's like 15 or 16 sets. No, not that. It's going to be an actual posable figure. Um, you know, there was uh, some news that was leaked today and whatnot. Uh, as I was out, there was, there was leaked. And then apparently in 2023, um, you'll get this uh, awesome looking brick built uh, Tahu with posability, obviously, um, as, a, uh, as a gift with a purchase. So you have to go onto Lego's website and you have to purchase some shit <laughs> and uh, you'll get this Tahu as a free gift. I'm doing everything in my power to get this set. This is, it's Bionicle one way or another. They destroyed their molds for the all construction sets except for the little beast feet from Hero Factory Invasion from below because in some ball joints here and there, I don't know. Uh, but all the molds for G1 and G2 and construction in general are gone, no more. We're gonna have to deal with System Bionicle. And that's, I know some people, including myself, hate that. But it is what it is. And the little googly-eyed thing, it's kind of interesting, but it's goofy at the same time. Or whatever. <coughs> so, not sure how much this set will go for on eBay if someone uh, got a copy of it and tried to sell it on eBay. I imagine they'll just put it as a bidding option and, and let people wage war against each other trying to bid for the thing. So, yeah. Um, but this is exciting news. I can't wait to get a copy of this year's set. I'm gonna go on the Lego website at some point. Probably in January is when we're is when it'll start, when the set will be available. Um, it says early 2023, so uh, it's a promotional set apparently. So that's why it's a GWP gift with purchase. So this is awesome. And there was some other Bionic up. Uh, Lego news that was, uh, there was some other shit that was, uh, leaked, um, besides this Bionicle thing. Um, now the, apparently the style that this, uh, Tahu will be built in is the style in these three, uh, weird, um, freaking, uh, CCBS construction replacement Thing. It's still posable, but it's still Breck Belt. And they had Miles Morales, uh, Venom. I like the Venom. He looks awesome. And uh, Spider-Man. So there's those. Those look pretty cool. Um, I definitely like the Venom one. He looks freaking sick. <laughs> um, I might get that at some point. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll get that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and... Uh, this ta it is theorized that this Tahu is supposed to be in that style, in that build style. Yes. This is, this could be interesting, you know? At least it'll be posable, unlike the little tiny monstrosity that was the 
the thing that came with the 20th anniversary, 20th anniversary, what the fuck, 90th anniversary set, and, um, yeah, Lego is listening to us Bionicle fans, finally, thank you, Lego, corporate assholes, <laughs> sometimes, um, but, you know, they're still thinking about Bionicle, they're still thinking about us fans, they have respect for us, sometimes, but, this is exciting news, and I am definitely getting my hands on a copy of this here set. So, Duck Bricks already did a video on this, so has Just Too Good and Ash and Flash. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure TTV is going to make a video about it. Probably, probably not. I don't know. Uh, the news just broke out. Oh, it broke out a day ago. Okay, so it broke out yesterday. Huh, well... I guess I'm late to the party. <laughs> I thought it happened today. But, uh, huh, weird. So, this is great. This is great news. And hopefully, hopefully, um, if, uh, if us Bionicle fans buy the set, and if, and if they sell out of these, and, and they have to make, make more of them, and they'll, those sell out, this will hopefully be a sign that, uh, Bionicle is still a viable product and shall be, uh, it'll, it'll come back. Hopefully it'll come back full force, full stop, and, um, it'll be great. It will, it will be. So, but 2023, why have to take that long? So, you know, 2021 was when the, uh, uh, was when that, um, the voting happened for the 90th anniversary set. And, uh, Bionica won the first round. We still don't know who exactly won the the second round. I think it was Castle, but I could be just spitballing. Accusations all around, I don't care. Um, but, you know, they didn't want to ignore Bionicle, so they're putting this, uh, th now they're putting out this gift with purchase thing. And it's great. This is a great way for Lego to kind of uh, uh, redeem themselves after the the abomination that has happened with the 90th anniversary polls and whatnot, and then the set itself, which I again I can't judge because I don't have it yet. Um, and then of course you know uh, the uh, the. Uh, What's it called? It's not brick set. It's a. Uh... Oh, why can't I remember? There's this guy named Sakoda, who did a uh, who did this uh, uh, anniversary brick built uh, Bionicle thing. Um, you know, one of those Lego ideas things. Bricklink. There it is. Bricklink. Uh, yeah, that was just terrible. That was not a good not a good job, Lego. No, screw you. Um, yeah. And I'd like to say, Sakota, what the fuck is wrong with you? You charged you're charging too much for the for that set. I get it. It's a it's it's just whatever. That's just a major pain in the ass to think about. It's a pain in the ass to even talk about. So my head is hurting from that. <sighs> my head's been hurting all afternoon. <laughs> so but yeah. Anyway, so this could be f finally Lego trying to redeem themselves and, um, you know, actually listening to us Bionicle fans instead of throwing us under the fucking bus. So, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to see what the outcome goes. And of course, there's going to be outliers out there that are going to be saying, uh, don't buy it, skip it, forget it, fuck you. Just fuck you. Lego's trying, and, you know, they obviously care about Bionicle. It's a viable product. It will never die. It will never truly die. We will never let it die. Shut up. That being said, I'm looking forward to next year, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully things um, will be good for in the realm of Lego, and we'll receive an actual new wave of Bionicle sets, a new story, either continuation, reboot, whatever, remake, 
I don't know, I don't think a remake would happen. That would be whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the future of Bionicle. And this video is 10 minutes long, so fuck it. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for more Bionicle-related content. I'm the Zombie J. I'll see you folks. Have a good fucking day, and peace. Post in the comment section below what you think of this news. And, yeah, let me know. Bye.